Hi, I am Dr. Sadeep Jha. I am a liver disease specialist and a liver transplant surgeon. I work as a consultant in Manipal Hospital, which is in Delhi. Uh, today we are going to discuss Child Box Score Calculator. It is a scoring system uh, that uh, helps you determine the severity of cirrhosis or the mortality risk or the risk to your life if you have cirrhosis. Uh, these there are a few blood parameters and there are few clinical parameters in the scoring system and it helps you determine the severity of your disease. Previously, we have discussed MEMS scoring system or model for end stage liver disease, which is another scoring system that is used in cirrhosis. However, it has its flaws. And as you as you have seen that in MEMS calculator, only blood parameters or lab parameters, laboratory parameters are entered in the scoring system. Uh, whereas, uh, if you are a patient of cirrhosis, uh, child A cirrhosis, usually uh, they have normal blood parameters. But sometimes they have uh, ascites or fluid in their abdomen or they have uh, altered sensorium or due to the liver failure they have effect on their brain which is not very well captured by the MEL scoring system because it has only blood parameters in the scoring system. So child scoring system also has its benefits and uh, so we'll go online and see how we can calculate our uh, child uh, uh, scoring uh, system or child stage of our cirrhosis and the, what is the uh, mortality risk in such a patient. One request would be that this uh, uh, this calculator is just uh, to have an idea of your disease. If you want a really uh, 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 thorough evaluation, then you should visit your consultant or liver specialist and discuss with him what to do further and for further guidance. So now we'll go into Google Chrome and as you can see, I'll have searched before, so I'll look for child books calculator and the first option that appears is the MD calculator website where they have many calculators, medical calculators to uh, use. And so we click on child books score, the first link that opens up and it takes us to the MD calculator website, which is similar to the mail scoring system that we have used earlier. And you can see the parameters like total bilirubin, which is usually less than one in our body, one milligram per deciliter. Uh, it is usually a liver function test and albumin is uh, the normal range is between 3.5 to 5.5 and it can also be found under liver function test. And the third test is prothrombin time or INR, which is a which demonstrates the clotting ability or coagulation ability in our body and is usually deranged in patients with uh, cirrhosis. Now these fourth and fifth parameters are ascites that is the fluid building up in your abdomen which is not shown in milk which is not entered in the milk score. Now this ascites early cirrhosis patients might not have ascites but late cirrhosis patients can build up a lot of ascites and which has to be repeatedly taken out through paracentesis. And the fifth parameter is encephalopathy when uh, due to your liver failure, ammonia builds up in your bloodstreams and then it goes and hits your brain and land up into altered sensorium or a, a sort of uh, drowsiness or uh, you, uh, there's irritability and all those uh, fall under encephalopathy. But uh, definitely a clinician will be better able to assess your encephalopathy or not. But if you are aware of your encephalopathy, you have been hospitalized previously with your encephalopathy, then you can use this uh, staging system. So now as a test example, we'll take two cases, an early case of cirrhosis and a late case of cirrhosis and we'll see how this calculator helps us to de uh, determine their prognosis. So in our early cirrhosis, uh, the bilirubin will be normal, usually less than 2 mg per deciliter. We'll select that option. The albumin will be in the normal range, usually more than 3.5. We'll select that option. INR will be in the normal range, less than 1.7. We'll select that option. Early cirrhosis patient might have some slight fluid buildup in the uh, in the abdomen, which can only be found by ultrasound or CT scan. So we'll keep it at slight ascites. And usually they have no encephalopathy or no effect on the brain. So we'll select no encephalopathy. And as we enter our options, the calculator gets to work and it has shown that you have six points and you fall in a child class A uh, cirrhosis and your life expectancy is 15 to 20 years, which is quite a good expectancy for a child A cirrhosis. And if you are having any abdominal surgery, uh, uh, if you have child A cirrhosis, then your risk to life uh, is 10%. Usually uh, surgeries, abdominal surgeries, uh, do not have such high risk, uh, close to one less than 1% to 2% mortality in cases. But if you see if child A cirrhosis and you're undergoing abdominal surgery, then it can go up to 10% mortality, so which is quite significant. Now, in the same calculator, we'll refresh the calculator and enter enter the data for a late cirrhotic patient and see how the uh, uh, calculator works. So, uh, if bilirubin, late cirrhosis, bilirubin will be more than 3. 
the albumin will be down because the uh, liver is not manufacturing protein so it will be less than 2.8 INR will be high because you, again your proteins are not being manufactured and your coagulation parameters get deranged so it will be more than 2.2 ascites will be quite high because late stasis patient build up a lot of fluid which has, be, which has to be repeatedly taken out through paracentesis so it will be moderate and encephalopathy grade 1 and 2 if you are feeling drowsy, if you are irritable, if you forget uh, faces, numbers, places then you might fall in the grade 1 and 2 but definitely uh, clinicians should help you to assist uh, encephalopathy and if you enter these values suddenly your point uh, jumps to 14 points and you fall under child class C which is a uh, very advanced process and your life expectancy if you notice it has fallen from 15 to 20 years to 1 to 3 years which is significant reduction in survival or life expectancy and if you look at the risk of undergoing any abdominal surgery it has jumped from 10% to 82% which is extremely high and usually in such cases if you have a child C cirrhosis no surgeon would like to operate on you because you have a very high risk of mortality and usually all such cases are delayed and they advise to undergo liver transplant and then undergo the surgery either simultaneously or later when you have recovered from the transplant. So this is this uh, by this video I have demonstrated how you can use this simple scoring system by going online and entering your values and knowing what is the severity of your disease and knowing what is the prognosis and your mortality risk. Uh, so if you have found this vid uh, video useful, if I have provided useful information, so uh, then please share and like this video so that more and more people can benefit from it and, uh, uh, and live a better and fully fulfilling life with cirrhosis. Thank you.